and actually to do a bit of an intro in what we're doing. So Christina's helping. Oh, hold on. Christina is helping us. Whoa, keep switching. Christina is helping us to get Diana's ear out. Diana, do you do you want your face to appear on it, or do you prefer to just have your ear on it? My, only my ear. Just your ear. She, <laughs> Diana wants just her ear appearing on this. So let's let's show just. We can get oh, and we have people saying hello already. I'm gonna make an effort to get some light on the subject here by pushing this button. Now we see what we've been waiting for that whole time. That's it. That, that's it. Is there a way to there. do it? Can you focus on things? No. So, yeah, they missed it. <laughs> because of the connection problems, they missed the uh, actual removal of it. And when I look back in there, I see still a flake. Look at that flake out. I don't know if you can kind of. Wow, that really shows up well. You can actually see it. Make it closer to in the ear hole there. Now I'm going to turn down how bright it is. Oh, there you go. So that it's not overexposed. Yeah, there you so go. So we need to get some of that out still. Even though people miss the main chunk come out, there is still something to get out of there. You tilt your head even more because I'm going to have to use the light from overhead. Oops, sorry. I have to use the light from overhead as I uh, grab a little bit of wax. Sorry. A little bit. Let's see if this works better because there there was a little bit of abrasion in there. There, I just push it off to the side. Does it hurt? Now yeah, as much as it, no, oh, there, there it did. I'm trying to get that off the side there. I'm going to get a really good look inside of there. And the way I'm going to do that is by converting the mobile phone into my camera. I'm going to take this off. Can I do that? Orientation is locked. Rotate device back. Move the camera around. So if I can turn on the light, then I can really get a look in there. Do you see something? Enable flash. There we go. Okay, we're gonna look in the ear. And we see some wax. Let me just make sure. So that flake there is kind of blocking our view, and we need to get that out of there. And right there we have a view of the eardrum. And even though that's at the bottom of the frame, it's actually the top of the eardrum. Because top and bottom are reversed with these optics here. And so now the decision is how to go about getting that. Well, we're not going to be able to use the uh, instrument we were using to get in there. Mm. Um, so irrigation would probably be the best option. So we'll do some irrigation. Okay. Let me set you up for irrigation. Remember that she didn't want her face shown. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I got the side of your face, so okay. <laughs> not your full face. <laughs> I don't want to get to sign all those autographs when I go on. Exactly, uh, exactly. See. We'll use this to uh, keep you from getting water all over you. And then we'll, we're going to do it the old fashioned way. We're not going to use the, the pump, we're just going to use uh, a syringe okay. with a uh, angio can. Scalping inside of this. 
So instead of using the butterfly, we're just going to use this. Hello from Russia. Hello from Russia. So we'll cut the sharps way. The 22 two syringe. I'll show you my secret recipe of hydrogen peroxide and hot water. Not a lot now. And because people have a fit about me not wearing gloves with your wax. Actually, yours has some blood in it because of that. That's a little too I should have How's that? Is that warm. warm? Yeah. That's warm. And the, did the comments stop? Yes. They did. But what people are very excited. So. But they're very excited. They're very excited. Well, because we haven't done one of these videos in weeks. Oh. It's been weeks since we put anything on the channel. Oh, do you want to take your hearing aid? Your, uh, uh, not hearing aid. Thank you. We have another hearing aid. We're, we're actually <laughs> suggesting that the earring be taken out because we had so many comments when this one lady had her uh, hoop earrings hanging oh. in the. Can I have you help us hold that? Yeah, thing? We'll pull it nice and tight there. Right. Draw up. Now this is the temperature test. You tell me, is this too hot? Is it too cold? It's okay. Or is it okay? It feels good. Oh, it feels good. Well, that okay. sure makes up for sticking in the ear with that sharp instrument. Except it's wanting to spill. Let's go down a little bit. All right. Here we go again. So I'm using this pulsating pressure instead of just slamming it all in. That's safer for the eardrum. Actually, I don't know of any controlled studies where they just slam the pressure in or did it with the pulsations, but it is possible by pushing on a syringe to rupture a person's eardrum. Mm -hmm. That has happened. Cases of that. Ear, nose, and throat doctors will tell you about that. Not hurting? No. Nope. You, you said earlier it felt there good. There it is. There's a little sore spot there. Somewhere. A little sore spot, mm -hmm. so we need to be careful where we're hitting. You're getting no return. Just clear water. Let me tilt. Otherwise, it'll spill all over your clothing. Is it spilling? I'm going to pour it out. Here, I'll take it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, Janet, can you hold that down yeah, there yeah. like that? Okay. Push it against your skin on the neck, and and we'll begin again. I see stuff moving around in there. I don't know if anybody else sees it. That's... Can you tell if that's making your jaw feel any better? Mm, same part. Taking a little pressure out of it. So this may have been it. What was causing the sensation in your jaw? Having that packed in wax that you'd had. Once we finish this one, we're going to take a look at yours. Okay. There we go again. You got a little bit of water on your blouse, sorry. Take a look. Oh, we have 77 people watching. Yeah. I bet you never imagined there'd be that many people watching your doctor's visit today. No, I didn't think about that very much. 
<laughs> All right, so what we're finding is your drum is way back there. Water's finding its way down. It's draining. Oh. You, you felt yeah. that. Okay. So, and that's why we're not going to stick anything in there because it hurts. Yeah, water's still draining. And if I could get, yeah, maybe I could get that. Can I have you hold it just like that? Yeah, here. Right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I may have to direct you. If we can reach over it. Yeah, up is down. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's the flake we want to get. Okay. But again, because up is down. No, that's not gonna work. Yeah. Nope. 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 Yeah, shine the light on me. Man. That's that's the upper ear. Yeah, Actually, I that's can't outside even, of the ear. I can't see from. There you go. That's it's close to the ear canal. But it actually goes this direction here. It goes this way. So that is on the it's very sensitive. Yeah. Let's try to wash it a little bit more. Okay, thank you. So Christina's getting some hydrogen peroxide, and I'm going to look through some some of the comments here. Um, somebody wants us to go for it, but you know, it's <laughs> not you. it's not their ear getting poked. So easy for them to say, isn't it? Ma Ma Maureen uh, says or asks, why is this so satisfying to watch? <laughs> That's right. That's right. It's somebody else. You're not sitting here in Diana's <laughs> shoes. Somebody from Scotland is saying hi. Oh, hello. And Brio's telling us that they just had an earthquake where she lives. And somebody's from Sioux City, Iowa. And some of my familiar people are saying hello. Uh, Ireland, Belgium. Yeah, Training to be an ear doctor in New York. I've learned so much. Hello from Russia. So we'll... Yeah, we'll just have it uh, switch back around to the ear there without, uh, there we go. Ready? Back to irrigation, which is not as bad as that sharp instrument, but also helps to move wax around. Sometime to get it, sometimes to get it out completely. Somebody was commenting on our technical proficiency that we weren't doing so well on the technical front, to which my response is, oh, go watch the other free programming on YouTube right now with an earwax removal. Oh, there is none. Lisa says you need a water shooter thingy. We have a water shooter thingy. It's in the other room. It takes a long time to set up. And <laughs> People complain about how loud it is. All right. Go Actually, ahead. it's just the people on YouTube that complain about how loud it is. Patients don't complain about it. Diana, you're smiling. <laughs> oh, you stopped. <laughs> I said you're smiling, and then you stopped. Oh. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that little wax there without hurting. Does that hurt to touch no, that? Okay. All right. See what to let's see what we've done. This way. Is the light on? I don't think the lights is the light on? No. Light's not on. Turn on the light. 
Okay, there we go. Look back in there again. Man, you'd think that would, the irrigation would make that thing move. If I could just... Let's do this. Let's try it with something that's blunt instead of sharp. Okay. And I'm going to get this. Put it on this. Oh. <laughs> I didn't have to get another one after. And then have this guide me with something blunt. Can you, are you able to hold her ear like that? Thank you. You feel that, don't you? Mm -hmm. How bad is it? Yeah. Okay. Ow. I will share that with you. I'll share that with you. Sounds like why that's dark. It was okay. So this is what we've been trying to get. A view of the eardrum. Whee! There it is. So it's a little pacified, which will happen when there's some fluid on the other side of it. And I'm moving around a little bit to see different aspects of the eardrum. But it is intact. And does not seem to be let me move it this way. There we go. Yeah, I see that. Someone's suggesting middle ear infection. Um, actually, I cannot tell through through that. I have to look through this. And really, the way you tell is by how mobile the two of is. And no, this one looks. It doesn't look like there's an infection on the other side. So the, the only problem is actually. Well, the problem was the wax being impacted, and that was causing the pressure sensation. May even cause a little bit of decrease in hearing. Mm -hmm. Then the problem was the sharp instrument as I was getting that hard wax that injured the canal, so there's a little bit of bleeding there. But other than that, you're okay yeah. now. Yeah. Good. You don't have Good. to do anything. You will notice a little bit of either uh, pink or uh, red discharge from a little okay. bit of bleeding that was there. There is still a little bit of wax in there that I'm not going to get out of this time. Okay. But I want to see if the sensation in the ear and the sensation in the jaw goes away with just doing this. And if so, we're not going to do anything else to you. I'm not going to instrument you unnecessarily. Uh, there's this idea in, in outside the medical world, in the lay world, that you, you go in and you, you totally clean it out, uh, I guess making future problems less likely. No, not at all. Okay. What you do by doing more instrumentation with the ear is actually injure it more. Yeah. Um, well, that's to protect it, isn't it? Yes, and, and you don't want the wax all yeah. completely removed. Yeah. So my suggestion is stopping where we are now, okay. not making the problem, any, not creating more problems. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. And then going ahead and seeing, doing a recheck and seeing, is is the pressure in the ear gone? Is the pain in the jaw gone? Okay, good. That's okay. the whole thing. Good. I guess we'll say goodbye. You didn't want to see the, you didn't want them to see you, right? So. No. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> there should be a button for stopping it. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. And I should tell them why I haven't been making these videos because of madisonwoman.com. Uh, there should be a link somewhere in the description or somewhere so you can see what it is we've been up to instead of making these videos. We're excited about it. Thank you. And thank you, Diane. There you go.